Hey, you guys. Um, I hope you can hear me. Um, I, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm yelling, but I hope you can hear me. I haven't been on the ministry much because I've been doing a lot of work for the Lord. I've been doing a lot of demonic deliv of deliverances you know, pertaining to demons, delivering um, victims from demons, counseling, like I said before, uh, those that are in the military, you know, family members that are here and they have loved ones in the military and helping them cope. Relationship counseling, preaching the gospel to the lost, as well as helping a family that's going through a rough time. Um, anyway, the reason I'm giving you this broadcast today is because I had a very... I want you to take this to Jesus Christ in prayer, first of all. Okay, Everything you hear, you take it to the Lord Jesus in prayer. Don't play around with your salvation by relying on what man has to say. Remember the Lord says to test the spirits and to seek his counsel always and first. I hope I'm um, speaking loud enough for you guys to hear me, so I'm about to turn on the water fountain. Water here, hold on. Hold on a second, you guys. Okay, um, the reason I'm having this broadcast is because I had a dream yesterday. And it's, it's unlike any other dream I've ever had, okay? I don't dream about this type of stuff very often. It's very different, this dream. I get a lot of dreams and visions from Jesus Christ. I expect you to test the Spirit and take it to Jesus in prayer. Um, but this dream was different than the others. One second more, you guys. I'm putting on my contact lenses because I have a job interview today. Okay, so bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. Appreciate your patience. So like I said, this dream is different than the others. I had a dream that the sky looked like it was burning. I don't know how else to describe it. Now, I don't watch uh, movies, you know, like uh, action and stuff like that. I don't watch TV. I don't watch movies. I don't watch none of that. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because the way that the sky looked, it looked like the sky was... Uh, the atmosphere was orange, just red, like it was burning. Something was burning through the atmosphere, okay? Now, what I was shown, what else I was shown was that the sky was orangish, reddish, and then you could see the sun shining, except the sun was blazing hot, and the sun was unusually close to the planet, to Earth. Now, I'm not saying that the planet's going to fry or whatever. It's not the will of God, you know, because there's Bible prophecies that have to be fulfilled before God decides what he's going to do. If he's going to fry the planet, that's God's decision. What struck me about this is that the way that this hit, it was like, sorry you guys, I'm putting eye drops on. Okay, it was like um, flares. I don't want to say it is, but I know it had to be the ultraviolet rays of the sun. That there was a wave of ultraviolet rays from the sun. Like there was some kind of activity going on on the sun. And this time it was bad. I mean, it was terrible. And what happened was, was that the ultraviolet rays... I don't know, I think that this was a very big burst from the sun that went straight to Earth. I don't know if it's ultraviolet rays, but that is the only explanation I could think of at this point. All I know is it burned through the atmosphere. It's what it looked like to me, okay? And um, 
All I could see is it, it was coming towards the Earth. It was approaching the Earth. And it looked like these rays, these ultraviolet rays, were burning through the atmosphere. That's the only way I could describe it. Now, Nicolas Cage, again, I'm not promoting entertainment. Nicolas Cage made this movie about uh, how these children, the kids of the Earth, were removed from the Earth before the Earth was going to be burnt up by the sun. Okay, now I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but if you take a look towards the end of the movie, okay, and you see how Nicolas Cage was hugging his mother and father-in-law, you see how the sky looked, that it was one minute, it was blue, another minute, it was just orange, and something was coming towards the Earth. That's exactly what it looked like. It looked like an ocean of fire. It's the best way I could describe it. And it was headed towards the earth. And then when I was given a view of the sun, the sun, sorry you guys, when I was given a view of the sun, um, the sun looked unusually close to the planet. It was like as if the planet was out of orbit. You know what I'm saying? Like the planet was out of orbit. orbit. I'm not going to say it was heading into the sun. I'm just saying it was like the planet was out of orbit was moving closer to the sun and then it stopped in close proximity to the sun okay and then it's like it stopped and then that burst from the sun hit the earth and it was like it stopped to ensure I'm not saying that it but it was like the earth was moved closer to the sun to ensure it was within reach of these um, burst these sun activity these unusual anomalies so, what happened was, was that a wave from the sun, there was some kind of activity going on in the sun. I believe it was uh, probably a, uh, it was probably a, uh, a solar storm. Because it was an activity that came straight from the sun, and it went to the earth. And I saw the atmosphere, I saw it burning through the ozone layer of the atmosphere. Because the sky went from looking blue to, um, an orange is red. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out to you guys is like I said, the Earth looked unusually close to the sun. Very close. I mean, you could see the sun right there, blazing hot, yellow, and the sky was orange is red. Now look, I'm not going to state that it's fact. Okay, you know that there's been unusual activity on the sun. You know that the activity that's been going on on the sun is uh, is uh it's never been seen before you know that that those bl those black coronal holes on the sun that that you learn about um or you hear about in the news they take like four or five minutes to form the last one did you know on average they take about four to five a month excuse me to form now um there was one that formed and uh you know the same size of the one that formed four, the one that took four to five months to form? Well, this one formed overnight. And ladies and gentlemen, I have reason to believe, like I said, like it says in the Word of God, it's the signs of the times. You're going to see signs in the heavens. And I'm not stating this as fact, but this all points to something's going to happen on the sun so bad, it's going to send a wave of ultraviolet light to the, to Earth. And I'm just theorizing here, okay? I, I don't know how this is going to come about. This is the Lord Jesus Christ's decision, solely the Lord's decision, and not ours, yours, or mine. It's God's decision. I have reason to believe that the Earth is going to be moved out of its orbit. When it's moved out of its orbit, it's going to be pushed in the direction of the Sun, um, I believe that it's going to be pushed in the direction of the sun uh, to be enough to close proximity to the sun where the next, I'm not going to say the next, but when there is a, whenever this happens, when there is a uh, flare from the sun, it's going to be huge, unlike anything mankind has ever seen. The worst in history, and it's going to hit the earth. 
That's the only thing I could think of. I mean, it was like a flare that hit the earth. And it's supposed to, it was pretty powerful. It struck the earth. So I have reason to believe that the way, like I said, the way that the sun was positioned in my dream, it was very unusual. It was like the earth was too close to the sun. And for that to happen, the earth had to have been moved out of orbit. And God can do anything. And I know that what, what moves, besides, you know, God, everything's, on, everything's about the moving of God. What can cause a uh, uh, planet to fall out of orbit is a very powerful earthquake. Last earthquake that was in Chile, I believe, was two years ago. It was rated 8 point something on the Richter scale. It moved the earth out of orbit a little bit. A little bit, not enough to even notice, but that was pretty powerful. So this earthquake, I believe, next one coming up is going to be way more powerful than that. And it's supposed to do something to the earth. And I'm not going to say the next one coming up, because I don't know. Whenever this earthquake happens, I believe, what I'm theorizing to you, that an earthquake will happen. It will happen. It's going to be very powerful, the most powerful earthquake mankind has ever seen. And on top of that, it's going to be powerful enough to move Earth out of its orbit closer to the sun. Not enough to the point that the four seasons will be affected. Yes, there will be some climactic changes. Of course there will. There will be drastic climactic changes. But I believe it's going to move Earth closer to the sun enough Close proximity enough, when that flare hits, it will burn through the ozone layer. And I'm not saying that the ozone layer is not going to heal, the earth is not going to be okay. I believe, by the mighty God's hand, that uh, the earth will, uh, the earth will um, recover. If it's an if ozone layer, if the sun ever burns through the ozone layer, you know, God heals the planet, amen? But I, I just, just, the way that this, the sun was positioned is what struck me. And I'm not going to lie, it was frightening. And the way that it was positioned, the way that the earth looked, so close to the sun, and just that flare coming in. I, I have reason to believe there's going to be a very bad flare that will actually make it to the earth. That's what I believe. And I believe that um, the earth will be unusually closer to the sun. And somehow, somewhere, the earth is going to be pushed out of its orbit towards the sun. And again, I believe that an earthquake will cause that. Maybe even some other anomaly. I want you to take this to the Lord in prayer, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd share this with you. It was different. Unusual. You take care of yourself, guys.